So in this video, we're going to go super, super basic, you know, um, based on a lot of questions that we're, that we're getting. So this is for the guy that's literally just getting into bass fishing and wants to know, you know, what size rod, uh, what kind of reel, uh, speed of reel that you get for different techniques. First of all, you know, I'm to the point now where I pretty much have a rod and a reel and a line size for every different bait. Uh, you know, it's just fine tuning, but there was a lot of years, even fishing professionally, that I had to categorize. You know, I used one rod and one reel setup for three or four baits. And I, you know, a guy going to the store, he's not going to buy 50 rods and reels, so he may need you know, a rod to be able to go across several techniques because he doesn't have 50. So we're kind of going to break it into four or five different categories. Um, you know, just as far as speed, real speed and stuff like that. First of all, you know, we're going to go with the, this is a swim bait, but this is kind of a moving bait. It could be a swim bait. It could be a biffle bug. Um, you know, a big worm, you know, this is like a seven to seven three. And whenever I'm talking about rod length and rod size, um, it can change based on your specific comfort level. You know, what, what you fish good with, um, what's comfortable for you. You know, there's a big guy may want a seven six because he can do this all day long. A smaller guy may want a seven footer, but any kind of moving bait, you know, it's seven to seven, three, seven, four, somewhere in there. Uh, you know, your reel is going to be your reel ratio is how fast you want to move the bait. If you don't know that, then start with like a 7.5. That's a good, just kind of all around speed for a moving bait um, because you can slow it down a little bit and then you can also speed it up. It's kind of that mid range. Talking about line size, um, it's just based on the cover that you're fishing and the size of the fish that you're fishing for. Uh, 10 killer where I fish a lot uh, when I'm home is pretty clear. So 16 is a good line size. You know, it's tough enough that I can, you know, fish around the rocks and stuff like that. If I was going to Lake Falcon and I was throwing this over trees, then I'd probably go to like a 20 or a 22 just to be able to get them out and not uh, have to retie a lot. So the moving bait, you know, 7.5, 7 to 7.4, uh, 16, 18 pound fluorocarbon, uh, bottom bait, you know, flipping, anything like that. This is seven to seven, six. Um, you know, I started flipping with a 16 30 years ago and now I'm, I typically fl flip with a, I do most of my flipping with a seven, four, but this is when I first started fishing, I used the same rod to flip with as I did to fish offshore, like a big worm or a jig or something like that. But any kind of bottom bait, you know, seven to seven, six. If I'm casting it, you know, 16, 18, even 20, if I'm fishing around big ones or big brush piles or something like that, flipping 22 to 25. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't use light stuff when I'm flipping. Uh, you're moving the bait with your rod. So you want to use the, I want to use the fast, fast reel. And this is 8.3 hyper mag. You, that's just, you want to take up slack, be able to get them out and get them to the boat uh, pretty quick. So big rod, your line size matters on your, or depends on your bait and then a fast reel. Uh, crankbaits, you know, this is a big crankbait. This rod here is seven, eight. The reason it's so long is because I want to be able to launch that thing as far as I can. That's one reason. And two is whenever I get a bite and it loads up, the rod, you know, is kind of parabolic and it bends and it lets that fish fight without coming off as much as it would if you're using a stiff rod. Say you're throwing a square bill, then I would use a seven footer. Um, same way, anytime you're cranking, for the most part, you want a pretty limber rod. For one, you can cast it and then also fight, fight in the fish. Line size, 12 to 16 typically. This is 12 for a big crankbait. If I'm throwing square bills or 
medium runners, 14, you know, 16 square billing around logs and, and things like that. The real speed, five to six. Um, you know, a lot of the bigger crankbakes, winter time when I want to go slower, I stay in the five range. Summertime, um, shallower runners, I'm gonna go to a six. So this category would kind of be jerk baits, top waters, anything like that. That's the, really the only time that I use a rod under seven foot. You know, I'll use a six eight to a six ten just because a lot of it's roll casting, you know, and I'm down popping the bait. On top waters, I use braid to, to uh, monofilament with a monofilament leader. Jerk baits is typically 12 to 14 pound line. Uh, the, and this is a rod, we're talking about categories, rod reel that I can use for all of that. Uh, this is a 6.8. It just, it's the right speed for being able to to reel the bait, work the bait, and it's, you know, it's, it's not too fast. If you get one too fast in between twitches, you try to turn it, you're catching, you're reeling all your slack out. So you gotta have a little bit slower reel in doing all of that. But uh, I said earlier that this is, this category is the shortest reel. Also spinner baits, bladed jigs, I use a 610. So, and you could use the same rod for all of that. You know, you would just have to switch line and stuff like that. But, you know, this will get you in your range. You know, you're gonna have to decide your specific, you know, is it a 6.8, is it a 6.10, is it a medium, or is it a medium heavy? And every rod company is a little different. A medium heavy from one rod company may be a little bit different than a medium heavy from another. So you have to pick and choose those and fish what is comfortable for you.